Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm JimmyGGS91 here and be welcome again to my 100% walkthrough of GoldenEye 007 for Nintendo 64. Now on this video we're gonna play the first secret level of the game, we call it Aztec. This level, I just have to warn you, is one of the most tricky and hardest level of the game, but at least it's a far challenge. Unlike the control level, but yeah, this level is pretty, pretty hard. You see why. The difficulty is the double zero agent, as always. And finally, we are in mission H on this place, Mexican place here of the, the Aztec Pico. Teotihuacan, I guess it's how you pronounce it, but yeah. Also, you see a new. Uh, Difficulty color 007, but well, I'll comment about this difficulty later on of the, on the end of the game Okay uh, Here are the primary ob objectives uh, for this mission <laughs> Reprogram shuttle guidance and launch shuttle yeah, Seems pretty much simple, but to do those two things is not that easy. It's not that easy Let's go next and Here's the background of the mission the Dra Drax Corporation continues to be involved in their unlicensed space exploration. Many of their projects are of a military nature and constitute a threat to the new world political order. Uh, the Drax Corporation? That name is pretty... <coughs> Sorry for that. Drax Corporation, this name is pretty much familiar to the James Bond movie fans. If you don't know... Drax Corporation that belongs to Hugger Drax. Hugger Drax was a villain in one of the James Bond movies, the movie is called Moonraker. Also, this level is pretty much resembles the Moonraker movie because of the mission that we're gonna do it, because of the soldiers, they're wearing suits like the Moonrakers in that movie, a, a yellow suit like the NASA <laughs> or something like that. You see later on the level, but yeah, pretty much this level is a tribute, a tribute to the Moonraker movie. We'll not see Hugo Drax himself on this mission, but we'll see another and very iconic villain of the James Bond movies on this level. You'll see who later on. Here's the end briefing. The Drax Lodge facility is located in a South American Aztec ruin. They are scheduled to launch a stolen NASA shuttle with a no military payload. Resending you in alone, 007. Penetrating the base security will be tricky, but once you're in, we believe you'll be able to recover the shuttle right out of their hand noses. Yeah, this, the starting area of this level is very tricky, you see why. Here's the key bridge. Simple plan, 007. We'll program the guidance computer with the information this floppy, <laughs> a floppy disk, how modern, <laughs> then we can take control as soon as the old girl reaches orbit. Now pay attention, one thing you don't know is the Drax launch protocol. You have to find that data and start it to initiate the launch. Can't be too difficult to spot, you'd be lying around in some high security area. Yeah, I'll show you where, it's not that hard to find. Kiwi's right, but yeah. Let's go next. Here's the message to Miss Money Penny. Catch a cut ring and bells, James? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. No, also I didn't think so. We how how I pronounce that <laughs> Aztec word? Catch a cut. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's almost impossible to pronounce. Anyway, let's start the level. Aztec Complex, Del Ho Chican. Alright, James Bond is wearing the classic suit of James Bond with a uh, smoking or tuxedo. Now this is starting area. This is starting area is the most tricky <coughs> sorry for that. Like I said before, this is starting area is the most tricky part of this game. Because one guard is on your right and two guards are on your left. But, to increase the difficulty, those three guards are wearing 
AR-33 assault rifle, so one or two shots of that and you'll be killed, no joke. So what I like to do here is just sneaking carefully to the left, to the right side, like that, use lean, crouch, and kill this guard, and get away from there as fast as I can, and hide behind this pillar. You don't want to take much damage here, so just do your best. And yeah, also the cards can throw grenades at you. So not a very pleasant place to stay. But yeah, I lose a lot of health here, I think. But I try to finish this level, because this level is pretty hard. Okay, since the guards are dead, so apparently there is no end. Right? So how you can get out of this place, there I really like the design of this place, it really resembles an old Aztec temple. Well, you see this wall here with a light into it, it's a secret wall, so open it. On this little hallway, there's a guard waiting for you. So be careful of that. And sometimes more guards can come for you, so be careful of that as well. Those guards with the yellow suits is what I call Moonrakers, <laughs> a cool name to them, I think, and also it's a reference to the Moonraker movie, so yeah. Okay, open the secret wall and stay here on this left wall here and find some cover because very far away there, there's a guard waiting for you, so kill him for this vantage point. Okay, now what I do here is to lure the attention of two Moonrakers on this hallway is to fire some shots here. They probably they will come for me, I guess. Or not. Well, I can't risk myself here, so... Okay, so what we're gonna do now is sneak it carefully, hungry the left wall here. You see that little moonraker here, far away there, on the right side, behind the crate? Take care of him of this vantage point. Yeah, these are the guards that I, I was talking about. I hope that the grenade don't explode. Okay, so be careful of that as well. Now it's time to kill that little moonraker on the right. Just aim from the head. And now, apparently this room is clear, but you see this pillar here on your left side. Go to it and hide. Because behind this pillar, there's another Moonraker waiting for you. So what I do here is just use a lean to aim and kill him. Okay. Now the section is finally clear. And don't drop on this little pit here because, yeah, you have to, you have to do a lot of backtrack to get up here. And that's the conventional way to enter on this level as well. Okay, so let's grab the ammo of this section. That finally is clear. Okay, uh, this, this this next room here is also very tricky because five Moonrakers are waiting for you inside a little alcove. So what I do here is open the door, try to find a guard here on the far left side, shoot at him, and hide. And wait the guard to come for me. More guards will come for you as well, so just kill all of them. You have to count five guards at all. And all the five guards come for me, so that's good. It's like uh, the old Wolfenstein strategy that never can go wrong. Shoot an enemy inside the hallway, inside a room, hide and let the enemies come to the door and kill all of them. Alright, you see this... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for that again. You see this little section here behind those glasses? You can't open this door there, there just yet because you requires a security smart card to open it. But inside there is where you want to go to to uh, plant or to use the Guinness data on that little floppy disk reader and 
take the launch data protocol, that little tape right here. But I, I will show you how to open this door later on. For right now, you see those kind of mainframes here. It's not perfect, but actually, if you press this computer panel here, it's a passageway. So I like to switch my pistol to kill those moon anchors here in the alcoves. It's easier. Okay, let's move on. There's another moon anchor here that I know. He's dead. Yeah, just do that. Go the hallway, aim for the head to kill all of the moon anchors before they see you. All right, so we come into this section here with two computer panels. This little thing here on the middle of the room. But this room is very tricky as well, because two moon rakers are ready for you inside this room. So what I do here is just aim for that computer on the left, destroy it, back up immediately, and hide. And kill those two moon rakers that was inside the room. Like, just like before, another Wolfenstein strategy. Okay, so just go forward, go inside that hallway, that little computer that explodes and just wait here for this little guy to show up the guy with a moon raker laser that weapon is really really powerful and cool to use it seems like a star wars weapon the, <laughs> the blaster rifle is used by the stormtroopers yeah and eventually more guards will come for you so that's why i'm waiting here also Oh, there's another guard here. Let's just kill him with the Moonraker. Okay, he's dead. Also, on that little room with the ex exhaust bay, if you stay here too long, the you'll be killed with a lot of flames from that launch shuttle there, so don't stay here. <laughs> it's a trap. Okay, on the right and your left, there's a very tricky, a very tricky spot too. Because two turret guns are waiting for you, so what I do here is just aim to the right, not to the left instead. Destroy the first turret gun. Now to the right side. Destroy this turret gun. Now from this little opening here, turn around. Go to this little passageway to the left. Now go right to grab some real needed body armor. You need it for sure. Believe me. Okay, we are doing good here, so let's go through this hallway of the turret guns until the end. Right, and when you come to this section right here. This section here, after this, I, 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 I found that is a uh, event grading, I don't know. It's very tricky because four turret guns and four. Moonrakers with this weapon, Moonraker laser, are waiting for you. So, yeah. So, what I do here is just sneaking carefully, hung in the left wall here to find a turret gun. Right there, I guess. Not just yet. Yes, there it is. The, the right side. Ah, there it is. That's the first turret you're gonna have to destroy. Also, on that little vent grating there, far away, you can see a Moonraker behind it, so... Kill him as well. Now, sneak it carefully to the left again, to find more turret guns here on the right side. Okay, there's another one here. It, and there's another one behind it. I think that is destroyed as well. Okay, from this point you can only destroy three turret guns. The fourth turret gun have to destroy a little bit later. Now this section is very tricky as well. What I like to do here is just run to the left side and hide behind a wall. So let's do it. Run, left side, hide behind this wall here. Because from this vantage point, now time to take care of those four Moonrakers that are waiting for you. The first Moonraker is here on the far left side, so just use Lee to aim carefully and find a good angle to snipe him. Like this angle right here. And he's dead. 
The second Moonraker is on the right side of the first Moonraker you have to kill. So I try to find a good angle to aim at him. Don't let the hit shoot at me. And he's dead. Now the third Moonraker. The third Moonraker is a little bit tricky to find because he's very hard and he has a very good spot to reach and a very difficult spot to reach as well. So I have to use Lin here on this wall. And here it is. And he's dead. Also, I forgot to mention this Moonraker laser doesn't have any ammo, so you can shoot indefinitely with the Moonraker laser. It has infinite ammo. So yay! <laughs> Alright, so now it's time to destroy the fourth turret again. So I'll leaning on this wall here, I will crouch, lean to the left, and destroy the last turret gun. Alright, and now, you see this ladder here in the behind you, climb it, if I can, alright, because you have to do a little thing here, you see that door here <coughs> on the level below, yeah, that was that room that we, we are earlier, or we were earlier, <laughs> instead, sorry. Now that door is closed, to open it, you see this computer panel here, just use it. And the exit bay will close and the door will open again. You have to do this right now because if you don't, you'll have a lot of pain later on. Okay, so let's go down. And finally kill the final Moonraker. They are waiting for us. He's here on the fire right side behind this little wall here. Here it is. Okay, we sneaking carefully to kill him like I did before. And grab all the moon rakers here. You really don't need of those moon rakers, but yeah, it's nice to grab. This main frame here, this main frame is where you want to use that dead tape from the launch protocol later on. Alright, so our next destination here from the space shuttle is go right here on this faint opening. Now we sneak it carefully, turn left to kill a Moonraker on the downside here. Oh, he's coming from another way, but he's dead as well. <laughs> okay, now it's time to go down the stairs. I recommend you go to those stairs here on the left. Turn right. And kill that another Moonraker here very easily. And he's dead. Now, two paths to go. What paths to choose? To hear the stairs here in the front of you, or to these stairs here on the right? I go to these stairs on the right, it's safer. Go through this little passageway here, carefully try to sneak in, because a Moonraker is behind those walls here. And he's dead. Wow, he threw a grenade. <laughs> that was dangerous. Be careful of that. You see a grenade exploding, just run away. Alright, so let's wait to the smoke to disperse from here. Because something very important is behind this wall here. You see who? Just let those Moonrake here throw grenades of this person here. And if you don't notice, this person here is Jaws from the Moonraker and from the Spy Who Loved Me James Bond movies. So here's the main villain you have to encounter on this level, and that guy will throw grenades indefinitely until he was killed. Jaws was alerted by your presence, so the strategy here is try to lure Jaws to the very initial area. Why? I explain later on. Let's just try to lure Jaws and don't take too much damage. That's the basic strategy here. Let's backtrack a little bit and lure Jaws to this section right here. Come on Jaws, I want you. Have you follow me? Okay, we're doing good here. Just be careful to not be shot by Jaws. You want your health to later on. 
So that's why you want to open that shuttle bay first, because if you don't, well, you'll be trapped here with Joss. Okay, he's coming. Come on, Joss. I'm right here. Okay, open the computer terminal. Just hide behind this panel. And kill Joss. With the Moon Acre laser. And eventually we will stun him like that, so just spend the Moon Acre laser on Joss. Grab the smart card. Open the mainframe right here. Go to the room. Open it. Go to the inventory of items. Select your Guinness data, this floppy disk right here. Using this thing here, the floppy reader, grab the tape and get out of here fast because Moonrakers are spawning here from everywhere on this place. That's why you want to lure Jaws to that place because if you kill him before, the Moonrakers will try to come after you from a very difficult spot. So that's why I lure Jaws to that section and try to kill him near the room that you have to use the smart card to open it. Jaws have the smart card after you kill them, he will drop the smart card after you kill him. So that's why you want to lure Jaws to that section. Okay, now in this mainframe you select the launch protocol data. Using this mainframe, the launch protocol data has been updated, so now we want to go up the stairs here. And the shuttle launch sequence will initiate. Now you want to open the exit bay, so now the shuttle can be <laughs> launched. <laughs> and just wait here, and some rakers will come af after you, so if they appear in the front of you, just kill them. Okay, the shuttle bay is opening. It has to be full open to the shuttle be launched. T man minus 10. Like I said, the Moonrakers can come after you, so be careful of that. 3, 2, 1. There we go. <laughs> On that little shuttle bay room, the, a lot of Moonrakers are dying because of the shuttle launch. Just a radical case of fire in the hole. <laughs> but alright, we completed this mission, finally. Yeah, this mission is pre pretty tricky, but uh, that was good. That Love Wars the Corning the first time, and the first time I beat the level. <laughs> Even the uh, practice, practice runs, I died sometimes, but oh well, that's good. And here's the time we complete this level. Uh, 17 minutes and 31 seconds, and the best time is 90, 90 minutes and 45 seconds. I, I think I did this time in a practice once because I don't have to explain too much. <laughs> but oh well. Why you comment about this level? Well, this level is tricky and <coughs> sorry for that and pretty hard. Especially at the beginning. That beginning it's very hard to do. You're surrounded by three guards around you, one on the right, and two on the left. You have to kill the guard on the right side first and deal with the guards on the left without taking any damage. Because we need the health to proceed through the level. Yeah, basically what this level is, is pretty much resembling to traps, with lots of turret guns from everywhere, lots of moonrakers waiting for you from hiding spots that you cannot see all of them most of the time. But I really like this level, it's a tribute to the moonraker movie, the design of this level also resembles a, an Aztec table, that's very cool to see, it's very well designed. The space shuttle is very well designed too, I like that part. And what, my, what, what I most like on this level, or what I'm more like on this level is Jaws. Fight with Jaws, it's very cool to do because of the James Bond movies. You don't know what happened to Jaws because of the Moonraker movie, he turned as a good guy. So, that, <laughs> that expected fight between Bond and Jaws didn't happen. Well, but in this game, that happened. He would kill the Jaws with our Moonraker laser. Speaking of which, the Moonraker laser is a very nice weapon as well. 
It's a kind of futuristic weapon, just like the weapons on the Star Wars movies, but that weapon is really cool and really powerful as well, because you see, we kill a Jaws just stunning him using the Muraker laser, that's pretty cool. And yeah, Jaws also it's very powerful on this level. He dual wields two uh, AR-33 rifles, so yeah. If you're not careful enough, he, sh he can kill you with, <laughs> I think, two or three shots. <laughs> so yeah, this level is pretty hard, but I like it. I like the challenge of this level. At least it's a fair challenge, except the control level, because you don't know what will happen that level. But yeah, I mean, overall, I like this level. Everything. Alright, so we are done. And now the second and the final level of this game is called Egyptian. Hmm. What is inside this Egyptian pyramid, I guess? Well, we have to find out in the next video, so I see you there. I'm JimmyGGS91, and bye bye to everyone. Take care.